Now let's take a look at our help menu. So if I go up to my help menu, I have access to my fireworks help, fireworks support center, the improvement program, exchange, I manage my extensions, product registration, I can deactivate and get my updates from Adobe. So for instance, my fireworks help, if I choose that, and I'm just going to click update my local content. So here's a way that I can do a search for something that I'm trying to find inside of Fireworks. So I've got access to my Fireworks Basic, what's new, working with bitmaps, etc. So if I'm trying to find something, this is probably the place I want to go. If I want to take a look at my Support Center, And again, I'll update that. So if you've never been to the Support Center before, this is really a great place to go. So for instance, I have tutorials on getting started. I've got a highlight here, so articles using pages and states in Fireworks. Any updates that I particularly need for my current program. Now you'll notice that my page is displaying help for CS4 and by the time you view this training it will be CS5. I also have some troubleshooting down here so I've got my top issues, some recent documents and installation help. So if you're having trouble with something make sure and come to your Adobe Community Help first before you're just searching the internet for something that you may not be able to find the solution to. And if I continue to scroll down my page, I've got my top picks for articles and tutorials and videos that go along with my community. Fireworks is a strong community, so make sure you're coming here often and seeing all the updates that Adobe has for the community help.